This is the Vehicle Cargo Solo Guide of 2022. In order to start making money with this, you first need two things. Head over to Dynasty 8 Executive and over here by one of the CEO offices if you don't own one already. These are pretty expensive, but the cheapest one, which I own at Lace Bank West, costs $1 million. The location doesn't really matter, so I would recommend you getting this one as well. The upgrades aren't necessary for the business, they aren't going to benefit the earnings in any way. Now enter your CEO office and in the back, access your computer. Over here you have three options you can choose from. The one you want to do is Fico Cargo. If you've never done this before, let's first buy a vehicle warehouse. This is the location where you're going to store the stolen vehicles and eventually sell them to the buyer. All these red triangles are vehicle warehouses you can buy. The one I recommend is right over here at La Mesa for $1.5 million. It's the cheapest one to get and doesn't have a bad location. If you're wanting to upgrade to a better location and have the money for it, I would recommend buying your vehicle warehouse at La Puerta which is $2.7 million. It has the broadest vehicle entrance, a cargo bob air entrance, is connected to the highway all the way to the Sandy Shores area and unlike La Mesa, where you have many obstacles such as the electric wires, poles, no great landing platform located in a Fagos gang area where if you hit them by a mistake they all start shooting at you, La Puerta would be a battle vehicle warehouse location. Now this is how you're going to make money with this. You're going to steal a vehicle which you can actually do for free. I'll show you how to do that in a second. After that, modify this car at your warehouse and then sell it to the buyer. Let me show you now how to do that. First, choose the source vehicle option. To start importing the cars, click on this button. In the left bottom corner, you will see the type of vehicle and the value of the car. You always want to sell top range vehicles since they earn you the most money. The value of the car can be divided into three categories. Standard range being the worst, mid range in the middle and the best one which is top range. The reason why you always want top range cars is because this will earn you the most amount of money per sale. But how do you only get top range vehicles? Check this out. In your warehouse you have a total space for 32 vehicles. There can be a maximum of 10 standard vehicles, 10 mid range vehicles and 12 top range vehicles. So if you never sell the standard and mid-range vehicles, you will eventually have 20 vehicles filled up in your warehouse, which leaves 20 spots open for the top-range vehicles. Now every time you source a vehicle, there's only space for the top-range vehicles, meaning that you can keep selling those and making the most amount of money you could ever make. Sourcing a vehicle isn't expensive at all. In fact, it costs you $0. When you stole the car in the right bottom corner of your screen, you will see the repair cost. The more damage you bring to the car, the higher this will be. But if you hit nothing with the car, when you arrive at the vehicle warehouse, you have to pay nothing. You haven't made any money yet, since now you need to sell it. Head over to your laptop in your warehouse and choose to export the top range vehicle. Here you have three options to sell to different buyers. The private buyer, showroom and the specialist dealer. You always want to sell to the specialist dealer where you have to pay 20k to modify your car but you can then sell it for 100k. If you're selling it to the private buyer, you're going to earn 40k, the showroom will earn you 60k and the specialist dealer will earn you in total 80k. That's why the specialist dealer is the best option to go for. Now here you have several options. In order to sell this car, you need to change the way it looks. First remove the tracker of the car, then change the car plate, respray it to another color, simply change all the options of the car one by one and then the sell mission will start. Now it's time to deliver the car to the buyer. But it might not be as simple as it seems like it is. When selling in a solo public lobby, four wave of enemies will spawn and attack you once you reach a certain location point. They won't target the car specifically, but they can still damage it. You don't want to lose money, that's why you should use one of these three methods. The first method is to simply get out of the car, 
kill those enemies and continue driving. Every time they reappear on your map, repeat this process until you deliver the car to the buyer. The second method which you might not be able to apply every time but is way faster is if you own the warehouse at La Mesa, go to the right side over here and go on the highway. It's easier to drive here and you can easily avoid them. And then the third method is if you own a cargo bob, you can use that to lift the car directly to the buyer. You simply attach the car to the cargo bob, fly all the way to the destination without getting hit at all. And that's it. You earned yourself $100,000. Some extra tips. If you own a terabyte, you can also start the vehicle cargo source missions from there. After you've sold the vehicle, go to the interaction menu, choose services and call the terabyte. Once the terabyte has been spawned, park it near your vehicle warehouse. Source the vehicle from here, go on your oppressor mark 2 and fly to the car. Now deliver the vehicle and keep repeating this process. There is a cooldown between doing the source vehicle missions. In that cooldown period, you should use these other methods to make even more money as a solo player, which is being shown in this video.